Hello loyal YouTube followers or even people viewing for the first time. Welcome to Farming Insider or welcome back. Thank you guys so much for the support. We have recently seen a lot of new faces so we're very excited. We're trying to push quality content on this channel. The tremendous support you guys have made that very easy. So we really cannot thank you enough. The old man is in the STS 14 Haggy 120 foot front boom. This is his baby. He absolutely loves this machine. No one else runs it, and that's fine. We all have a lot more to do on our plate, so he can handle that all he wants. He is spraying 20 gallons of 28% nitrogen on our alfalfa orchard timothy seedings. And last fall, right before we planted it, we came on with a dry fertilizer application, a mix of 100 pounds of MAP, which is 11 units nitrogen, 52 units phosphorus, and then zero units potash, but we also put on 200 pounds of a 0060, which would be 60 units of potash for any of you number fanatics there. Carl came through and disc these twice. Uh, once for the most part, twice where, where it was needed. We came in with the vertical tillage tools and hit those twice. Used the field cultivator as a nice leveling tool. As you can see when he's spraying, he's not doing a lot of bouncing. We're very excited to come through these fields because they're just the smoothest seed bed we might have ever made. We rolled it with our right way roller, and then Justin came through with the Brilliant Cedar. And so far we have a really great stand here. We were a hair hesitant to fertilize this early just because we know the weather can turn and we might not utilize all of this, but we are running low on our first cutting hay inventories. And fertilizing this early, if we get the right weather, we will consider taking off a mid-May cutting, which is earlier than we usually do for the equine market. Uh, usually we're, we're pretty heavy into our first cutting hay the first week of June. May makes really nice young stuff, but you do lose some volume. But we are getting low, so that is what we'll do, and I hope this works out. Thank you guys so much for the support. Drop a comment below, let me know if you like these type of informational videos. I'd be happy to do more. I'm always listening to you guys and what you want, and you guys have given back to me tenfold. I'll see you guys soon.